Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be showing how to find all files checked out on a particular computer, regardless of who checked it out. This is necessary when a computer or vault view is shared by multiple people, and you need to delete the local vault view. Anytime before you um, delete a vault view, you do need to make sure that all files that were checked out to that vault view are checked in. If you don't do this, then those files become orphans and all you can do is to do an undo checkout on them from other computers. The first method I want to cover today is to use the complete search that comes with SOLIDWORKS PDM. There is a search that you can do for checked out files, and normally you would specify a username. But in this case, since we want to find files checked out on this particular computer, regardless of who checked it out, we will not specify a username. So we will just run the search. When it's complete, all you do is you go over and you sort by the column checked out in. That checked out in will also specifies the computer that the files were checked out on. So now, now that you sorted by uh, checked out in, it will be sorted by computer. So you can now scroll down and find the computer that uh, you're, you're on, and you'll find all the files that are checked out on this particular computer. So now let's switch over to the local view, and I will demonstrate. So here we are in the local vault view. Uh, you do need to log into your view as the admin user, and your admin user does need to have full access to every file in the vault. So that means all you need to go check and make sure that he has full access to all files and all workflow states, and that he's not a member of any group. Um, so once you do that, then log into your local vault view as the admin. This will be on the computer that, that you're looking for, um, files that are checked out on that computer. And to run the search, you can uh, select your drop down and choose the complete search. That is the search that we want to use. Now, if you'll, you should probably uncheck display folders. If you don't do that, then it will go through and it will find all folders in the vault for you. And that's not something you're interested in. It just messes up your search return. So yeah, uncheck display folders. You do want to search in the entire vault. So make sure that this is specifying the root level of your vault. Uh, the rest of these should be blank because you're not looking for any particular file. And you go to checked in slash out. And you want to make sure that you uncheck display non-checked out files. Between the two, that's really every file in the vault. Then you don't want that. You just want the checked out files. And now for up here, let's see, we will delete that so that this is blank. And now you do a search. Now my particular case, this vault on my computer, on this computer, is the only vault view that I have. And so really everything is checked out um, in this computer. But here's the column that I am referring to is checked out in. So to sort by it, all you do is you click on the name checked out in, and then that will sort by, uh, by this particular column. And then uh, when you have multiple computers, you can go down here and find the correct computer. And then um, anything on that computer, of course, is is checked out in that particular vault view. Now, if you look over here on checked out by, you can see who has that particular file checked out. Notice that in this case, I found files checked out by three different people. There's uh, my one username, there's a system admin, and then here's Bob White. Um, so see, uh, relatively simple to go and, and you use this tool to find every file checked out on this particular computer. There is another method that you can use, and that's to use the report generator. Now, I will link the report to use uh, to this video and call it uh, Find Checked Out Files on Computer.crp. And as I say, there will be a link to it below this video. I will also try to display this. So if you want to copy it, you can copy it uh, if you're having trouble getting the link. Then I'll also create a, a link to instructions on how to use the report generator. These instructions are titled SOLIDWORKS PDM Report Generator Instruction. And I will now demonstrate how to use the report generator. Again, the second way to uh, search for files that are checked out on this computer, uh, not by person, is to use the report generator. Now, in order to access the report generator, you go to the Tools menu and you'll see Report Generator. Now again, this is only for PDM Professional. 
So I do have some reports here from, uh, from before, but I need to add another report. And there are a couple of ways to do that. One is that you can uh, just um, select, there's a little icon here, import query. You can also go to the file, import query. Um, in my case, since I want to show you the query, I'm gonna actually browse to where the query is located. And I'm gonna double, not well, I'm gonna open this up in Notepad. Um, and on my case, I can choose edit. In your case, you may have to come down and choose open with so that you can tell it open with Notepad. This is the, this is the report query. Uh, I won't spend a lot of time on this. You can go look uh, for other places as to how to create reports. Uh, this is all based on an SQL query, which is here, just a little short query, and that's all that's required. So in this case then, so that's what the query looks like, and you can pause the video here if you want to copy it. Um, you can save it, do it all in Notepad, and then when you're done, change the extension from .txt to .crp, and voila, you have a report query. So you can just select this file, drag it, and drop it here, and it will add it. And then, uh, by the way, you do need to have the permissions in the PDM admin tool to be able to, to add report queries. Um, as you add it, it will ask you who has permission to run this query. Um, in my case, I'm going to say all users. By default, admin is selected. These are groups on this side, users on this side. So that looks good. I'll say OK. So it tells, gives me confirmation, one query added. And here it is here, find checked out files by computer. Now to run that query, I just need to select that box on the side. And then I select this uh, green check here, execute query. Now what it's asking for is the computer name. Now you do need to be sure that you get the proper computer name. Perhaps the simplest is to uh, right click, at least in Windows 10 down here and go to system. And it tells you the device name here, that would be your computer name. You can copy it. In my case, it's simple enough. I could have just typed it in, but I've seen some computer names that are just a series of numbers. So you might want to copy and paste it. Once you do that, you tell that OK, and then it runs the query and gives you a very quick um, display. And it sorts it by username, file name, there's the computer, and the path in which you can find the files. And that's really it. So this has been uh, Jim Ward showing you how to find files that are checked out on a particular computer, regardless of user. And I thank you for watching.